Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he stands. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable, grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? My, my, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people, and little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. And maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the names just change, or am I missing something? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Now keep going. It's straight here. So now here's like a right. Just straight over this one. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! You, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's had a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too.
Listen, even your parents can't stand you. Yo, this fool is on what? You asshole! Are you at the club, right? I'll set you up. How the heck are you, Fred? What a sad thing to dedicate your life to. You can't Shit. blow me, okay? Hey there, Brad. pieces have been in magazines. Never too fucked up to play. The booze and drugs. I knew the electricity so was all part of right the on. terrorist act that we were trying to perform. Although we didn't know you that took we that well. We should go to the dungeon crawlers. All the celebs go there. Surfers, How about a players, teardrop by the eye? Makers, Make you look hard. No refunds. That's inconsequential. Can't go wrong with any of these. Some award winning art in there. What's up? Well, my hotel lost one of my bags, but other than that, I love this place. Right on, enjoy that. You know, you're not much of a bleeder. Later. Beers? What are you talking about? We had like six shots each. Look at you. What's good? Hey. Will you two just make out already? 
Hey, can you give me a ride just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge? There's my car. So, where are we going? I'm on Alta Place. Off, uh, Howick Ave. It's not that far. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't feel so good. I just got a mouthful of, of something. You better take it slow. Hey, thanks for this, man. As you can see, I could have driven. No problem, but joy. Wow! Oh! No problem, but joy killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. Can you believe they wanted me to walk? Walk! Look out! Oh shit! Uh, I'm, I'm gonna bark. Oh, that's it, little man. Sing me a rainbow. <laughs> Dude, sorry about that. Uh, most of it went out the window. I'll uh, throw some cash your way. You can always try shutting up. See how that feels. Yeah, I feel much better. That tactical vomit really sorted me out. Starving now. Oh, yes! I still got some clock and bell at home from last night. I am all over that! I tell you, the planets are aligned, bro. Karma is sucking my boy right now. Now, try that again without slurring. What's up? Thanks for the ride, man. Sorry for blowing chunks. Take this toward the cleaning. I'll see you around. Try not to pass out and choke on your sick. Yeah, stay where you are. No problem here. Welcome to the cinema. No mobile phones. No talking or toddlers. And please, be considerate to your fellow moviegoers. No masturbating. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Antoine, réveille-toi, réveille-toi Pourquoi est-ce que tu dors Comment peux-tu dormir No estaba dormido. Estaba durmiendo, pero despierto. Ta femme doit être remarquable. Ces rêves que tu as à la fois éveillé et endormi. Mais tu n'es qu'un simple voleur
La guerra me hizo una puta. Y a ti una ladrona. O era al revés. Freud a beaucoup d'explications à donner. ¿Quién ha dicho eso? ¿Dónde estás? Muéstrate. Antoine, ¿de qué hablas tú? S'il te plaît, Antoine. S'il te plaît. Esa voz. Tu parles de moi. Sí, tú. María, ¿tú la escuchaste? ¿Quién era? Antoine, ¿qué es que te prend ces temps-ci? Depuis la mort de Luigi, tu n'es plus toi-même. Si tú lo dices, querida mía. Si te hace feliz, y así lo dices. J'ai marié un voleur. Un bon, honnête voleur qui connaissait sa place dans la vie. Maintenant, ben maintenant, je suis coincé avec euh, un hermaphrodite. Une créature qui ne sait plus s'il est un homme ou une femme. Quel est le mensonge et quelle est la moitié de la vérité Pourquoi les choses doivent être aussi simples mais continuellement compliquées avec toi, Antoine Si, María, contigo las cosas no son tan complicadas. El carnicero viene y abre las piernas. La policía viene a detenerme y abre las piernas. El cura viene para confesar. De nuevo, sabemos dónde acaba. Tu aimerais te placer en victime, Antoine. Mais dans cette vie, nous sommes uniquement les prisonniers des prisons que nous construisons nous-mêmes. Para ser una callejera y una esposa sin fe, tienes una forma de hablar muy ambigua. Elle ne t'a jamais aimé, Antonio. ¿Quién? ¿Quién nunca me amó? Ça, je ne sais pas. Je ne suis qu'une voix qui n'existe que dans ta tête. De quoi parles-tu, Antoine Comme ta mère m'a dit. La misérable étendue de ta vie de rêve est un poids de plus sur la réalité prosaïque de notre réalité physique au jour le jour. Maria, 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 mi querida Maria, tu madre, perdóname, pero no me lo perdonaré si no confieso. Era una mujer horrible con un alma que robó del diablo. T'as pas honte, Antoine Toi et les insuffisances de ton misérable subconscient primaire. Antonio Antonio Réveille-toi Réveille-toi Cállate Eres solo una voz en mi cabeza Déjame soñar en paz Est-ce que c'est à ça que tu veux réduire toutes les femmes, Antonio Une analyse réductrice du féminin est un archétype classique de ta répression. Oh Por el amor de Dios Deja de sonar como mi esposa cuando no está pagando el alquiler por sí misma. Ta femme Est-ce que je suis maintenant Espero que no. Peut-être suis-je Luigi Après que tu l'aies traîtreusement castré, a-t-on déjà considéré ça Nous l'avons considéré fuera de cámara muchas veces. Consideramos el modernismo. Predijimos el postmodernismo. Adoptamos el surrealismo. Refutamos la visión tecnocrática del futuro de la humanidad. Tantas maravillas hemos adoptado que me asombro del sistema educativo italiano. Fui educado por curas. Et aún así conozco toda la femme bajo el sol y flotando en el aire. Oh Antonio, maintenant c'est toi qui parles comme ta femme. C'est peut-être ton désir le plus intime d'être martelé jour et nuit par des bouchers et des prêtres et des policiers. Sugieres que deseo acostarme con otro hombre porque quiero hacer cosas y me odio a mí mismo por mis tendencias destructivas. Opino que es un poco simple, incluso para el subconsciente de un humilde ladrón. L'humilité est comme le paradis pour des hommes comme toi, énormément surestimés. Tu devrais choisir l'enfer. Au moins, tu y connaîtrais des gens comme Luigi. No hables de Luigi. Él no era ni siquiera un buen tipo. Enfin, on peut tous justifier l'incarnation de notre chute. Mamie Car l'a fait alors qu'il plongeait dans l'azur méditerranéen. El pensamiento clasicista es la gran debilidad del alma contemporánea. que tu as une âme. Soy un comunista, un ladrón y un hombre de la gente. Las almas son por lo que la clase dominante nos encarcela. C'est quoi encore ce truc? ¿Qué cosa? L'utilisation libérale de Deus Ex Machina. 
¿Qué? ¡Oh! ¡Luigi! ¡Creía que estaba muerto! Me mataste, pero te perdono porque ya no existo más. Entonces, la inmortalidad era un mito. Y no somos más que la encarnación física de nuestras propias neurosis. Eso es lo que dijo tu mujer mientras digería mi espada en la cama matrimonial. <risa> ¿Es esa la verdad? ¿La ansiedad subyacente de mi realidad? Eso que justifiqué por conveniencia. ¿Era en realidad la manifestación de los cuernos en mi cornuda cabeza? ¿Cómo puedes hacer esas preguntas a un fantasma? El águila que escucha el susurro de una flecha mientras hiere su corazón ve que la flecha ha sido creada usando sus propias plumas. Ce cheval est d'une finesse, Antonio. No es un caballo, es mi vida. Un homme avec une simplicité physique de la sorte est un homme que je peux respecter. Dices que esa es mi habilidad para negar la humanidad, robando y conquistando a mis queridas criaturas, y que he creado el respeto hacia ti, bella mujer, que encontré en mi camino. No, elle veut dire que dans toute ta superficialité, tu as encore une fois sublimé le féminin jusqu'à la forme idéale du désir masculin. Comme ma mère a prédit que tu ferais. Es un error común entre traidores y entre pecadores y los reprimidos. Es solo a través de la expresión creativa, un mundo vacío de color y únicos planos de cámara que nuestra verdadera naturaleza puede ser revelada. Taxi man! Lazy! Lazy! That's seriously not cool. Man! What the fuck are people around here look like? Hey, you! Get over here! Oh, you're gonna have to make it up for me big time. Over here! They've got me trapped! You lazy bastard! Can you get me past them, please? My car's just over there! All right. Yeah, just to prove chivalry isn't dead. Has anyone seen her? Ah, oh, your luck's out, babe. This car's too small. What the hell? Yeah, Los Santos, you are tuned in to Fly Low FM, live and direct from the lab on another crazy, crazy day. Shit is fucking going down right now, man.
There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Hmm. Yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, eh, uh, can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. <sighs> Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go! Come on! All right. <laughs> 